Hello? Is there anybody out there? This is Georgia Bank Observatory. Hello? 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 Georgia Bank Observatory is located in Low Withington, Cheshire, England. It was established in 1945 by Sir Bernard Lovell. Joshua Bank's location is perfect. Other frequencies can't disrupt my readings. Even your kitchen microwave would need shielding. Joshua Bank searches for radio waves emitted by objects all around us here in our galaxy and beyond. So what are radio waves? Radio waves are a type of electromagnetic radiation that is emitted by stars and gases in space. There are many types of electromagnetic radiation and all these make up what is called the electromagnetic spectrum. The Georgia Bank Centre for Astrophysics hosts a number of groups from the world of astronomy and astrophysics. These include the School of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Manchester, the World Leader Facilities of the Georgia Bank Observatory, the e Merlin BLBI National Facility, and it also hosts the Square Kilometre Array Organisation. Did you know that since it began observations in 1957, Georgia Bank has been involved in a wide range of work? Well, did you know that Georgia Bank has used a telescope to track ballistic missiles of the government in secret? It also tracked the rocket that sent up the first ever satellite, Smutnik 1. The Laval Telescope had a major role in the discovery of quasars. These mysterious objects are thought to be powered by the attraction and accumulation of dust and other material into supermassive black holes at the centre of distant galaxies. Pulsars have also been investigated. These are thought to be extremely dense remnants of stars left over from supernova explosions. They rotate and emit a beam of radio waves, just like a lighthouse. In April 2011, Jodrell Bank was announced as the location of the headquarters office for the SCAR project. The Square Kilometre Array is a global project with 10 member countries which aims to provide the answer to some fundamental questions about the origin and evolution of the universe. It uses telescopes from Australia and Africa to create a mega telescope that covers an area about one kilometre. This will make it the most sensitive telescope ever to search the universe. News just in from Jodrell Bank. All hell is breaking loose here at Jodrell Bank, and it really is a wow situation. Let me fill you in. On August 15, 1977, SETI scientist Jerry R. Eamon was using the Big Ear radio telescope at Ohio State University to search for signs of extraterrestrial life. He observed a signal that bore all signs of being a non-terrestrial source. It was so unusual that it was called the wow signal and was never seen again. Well, that is until today. Back to you, Melissa. What if it's a signal from aliens that want to help the air? What if the wow signal is a message from an alien civilization asking to meet the Queen? What if it's just a meteor hurtling towards Earth? We won't be able to watch Emmerdale, EastEnders, or even Coronation.